Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Jay Mitch. Um, I wanted to make a video about how to build a spoil. My last video, I already installed the spoil on my Typhon, but I actually want to show how to build the spool because the directions that come with it are very vague. Um, actually, there are no directions that really come with it. Um, I just want to show you how I did it and a step-by-step -step instruction on how to do it. So shout out to my man, Henry Fords. Shout out to my boy, Rich. Shout out to everybody on YouTube, everybody I watch, all the people on Facebook that watch my videos, and um, everybody who I watch. You know, everybody who I subscribe to is too many to name. But I just want to recognize everybody. I thank everybody for all the information that I've, I've gathered from you guys over the last year or two. Um, stepping up my RC speed game. But let's get into the build. First thing you need tools. You'll need you'll need a two and a two and a half millimeter hex Allen drive drivers. Um, you'll need your differential cups that you remove from your differential from your armor vehicle. If you're not using the arm, if you're going to just buy the armor diff cups, here's the item number. You want to get these AR310439. Also, you'll want to get the hot racing spool. The hot racing spool number is A0N25R02. Um, and you want to get yourself a Revo style mod one gear. I went with the Inter G342 for this particular spool. And you also want to grab the bearings off your diff, off your center diff, or you want to buy some. So these are the armor ones that I pulled off a diff I had. But if you don't have access to armor, most local hobby shops carry Traxxas. And this is a little blasphemous, I know. But here's the Traxxas bearings that you'll need. Uh, item number 5118. To get started, first thing that you do, because you will forget. I've forgotten how to do this so many times. And I've had to break down the spool at least two or three times because I forgot to do this first step. It's a very critical step. You want to take your bearings and you want to drop them on your drift, on your diff cups like so. You want to just do it on both the diff cups because you don't want to forget to do that. That'll be retarded. Like you don't want to do that at all. So you want to get those two. You don't want to lose your drive pins like I was getting ready to just now. You got two drive pins. Then you want to take your hot racing spool. Start. You get one of the three supply of rubber bands that they give you, and you start it on the side here, but don't roll it all the way down into that channel. And then you're going to take one of your hot one of your your differential drive cups and you want to line up the hole line up that hole there with the hole in the spool and you want to be able to look right through the cup like that you see and then you want to take one of your drive pins stuff it in that hole and don't let it fall all the way through like I just did Critical, just get it in there. And then once it's in the middle, roll that rubber band, rubber band down like so. And this is how this one side should look. Then on the other side, you want to kind of have your gear loose hanging. Then you want to take your other side of your differential um, drive cup and slide it all the way in. Line it up perpendicular. As long as this side is perpendicular, your hole is right will line up there so after that you can see right through that spool after that then you want to take your pin in but you want to be careful because your pin if you hold it straight down pointed it will slide right through so you kind of want to kind of like have put the pin in this way and you want to use a uh, uh, if your hands are not if your hands are too big you want to use a uh, set of needle nose pliers to put it in I'm going to pause the video here and do that and then after I do that um, we'll go from there all right I'm back man that took forever so after I got the pin in there I slid my gear down onto the adapter and then after it's locked in, I'll take my screws, my supplied screws, and screw the spur into the spur gear adapter on the spool. I'll pause the video and come back right with that. Okay, I got my screws in. These are two and a half millimeter screws. 
to screw them in one by one. And on the other side, you'll notice the rubber band secures the pin. On this side, the gear secures the pin. You don't need a rubber band on this side. It's nice that they give you three extra ones just in case. Also, you'll want to lock tight these. I didn't lock tight this, but I'll go back after the video and do so. Um, but yeah, just to show you guys how how the bad boy should go, um, just take you know cutting a couple corners. So you should add lock tight to your uh, to your. Uh, to your item list go back and tighten this boy snugly down lock tight of course and there you have it your center spool with your bearings Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Peace.